Okay, what if we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity with 1 plus 1 over n inside, and then this time, this is raised to the nth power only. Earlier, I showed you guys with another series where we have this similar series, but it was raised to the n square power, right? And that series diverges, and we used it the root test for it, right? If you haven't seen that video, be sure you watch that as well, and I will link that video in the description for you guys, okay? And now, the thing about what can we do with this? Can we also use the root test? Maybe, right? Because as I like to tell you guys, we have the n in the exponent. So maybe a root test is a good choice for that, right? So let me just put down, we will try to use the root test, all right? So let me just indicate that we will lose the root test. And to do a root test, we have to take the limit as n goes to infinity. And this time, I will write this down right here. 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power. Technically, we take the absolute value, right? Take the absolute value. And we take the nth root, like this. Okay? And you know, the nth root and then the nth power, they cancel each other out. But the deal is that, I will write this down for you guys. The absolute value doesn't matter, by the way, because everything is positive. Anyway, here, 1 over n, and then this is n. The nth root means that we divide this power by n. Alright? n over n is equal to 1, so this is going to be 1 plus 1 over n only. The power here is 1. And now, can we take the limit? Yeah. As n goes to infinity, this is going to be approaching to, let me show you guys the work, 1 plus 1 over infinity, which is approaching to 1 plus 0, which is 1. Okay, this is the limit, right? This is the result after we take the limit of doing the root test. Is this any useful? No, right? One, in the root test and also the ratio test, this right here does not help us to draw any conclusion. So, let me indicate that this one, we can't conclude anything, right? And that means we have to do more work for this, right? It's not because uh, this is a bad series or whatsoever. It's just that the root test does not apply in this situation. We must try something else. And on the exam, if this happens, well, you just have to get your eraser, or maybe if you have enough space, you're just going to cross this out, right? Because whenever you cannot conclude anything, unfortunately, um, this is just not good. So you have to erase it and then try something else so you can get the, uh, you know, get the arguments, get the reasoning right for the series. Okay, we cannot use the root test, all right? Hmm, let's look at this right here. 1 plus 1 over n and it raised to the nth power. Just that part itself. I think I know that pretty well from the fact, isn't it? And if you just ignore that, right, just ignore the sigma notation, you know this right here, approach to what actually? Well, a n, right, this part right here, he approached to e, which is not zero, isn't it? And in fact, you can have, you could have draw conclusion right away by use the test for divergence. So that's actually the way to do it in this case. We are going to be using the test for divergence, all right? And to do that, what we are going to do is, we take the limit as n goes to infinity. Just the original, right? Just the original part right here. And we see that 1 plus 1 over n raised to the nth power. This right here, you know the a value is equal to 1. And the b value right here is also equal to 1. Let's indicate that right here. a is 1, b is equal to 1. This right here, by the fact, it's going to be approaching to e to the 1 times 1, which is just e, right? So let me just show you guys all the steps right here. And in fact, that's also the definition of e, by the way, right? But anyway, do it whichever way you want to do it, and then you tell me that this is actually approaching to e. And more importantly, this right here, you have to tell me that, if you're using test for divergence, you have to tell me that this limit here is not equal to 0, all right? Do not put down, this is greater than 1. Even though it's true, 
But when you're using the test for divergence, you have to tell me that this limit is not equal to zero, and because this is not equal to zero, we get to draw conclusion. So let me write it down. The conclusion is that that series, the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 plus 1 over n raised to the nth power, this right here diverges because right here, right? This limit was not equal to zero. So we could have drawn this conclusion. Diverges by the test for divergence, right? And just a small remark, hopefully you guys have seen the previous video. Earlier, if we had this raised to the n squared power, in fact, we could not use the test for divergence. You can try it. If it was n squared, you really had to use the root test for it. But in this question, we only have the nth power. The test for divergence works extremely nicely. And as usual, that's it.